Chapman has to bring it back out. Chapman, tough hang and a tough hit. Tommy Chapman is all four for North. Up. Zimmer recovers, rejected by Parker Fox. Alley oop to Fox for the slam. Back out to Reedy. His three splashes in. Go. Chapman hangs and hits again. McGee blocked by Fox. Chapman feeds a cutting start plus the foul. Coleman got the step again and threw it down. Poked away, stolen by Mason Stark. Stark driving in for two. McGee working inside. Fox with the steal. Here's Parker Fox in transition, but it is Northern State that will play on its home court for a region championship. 77-65 is your final. Okay, I'd like to welcome everyone to the press conference for the semifinals of the NCAA Central Region Tournament. Media members joining us via Zoom, I encourage you all to submit your questions for today's press conference via the chat feature, and I will relay those to our guests. Um, tonight we have uh, Northern State head coach Saul Phillips and student athlete Parker Fox with us. And we'll start out with a statement from you, coach, about the game and then open the floor for questions. I thought defensively we were extremely disruptive. Uh, Parker's eight blocks over there played a factor, but our guards, Mason and Andrew, Tommy, getting deflections, getting us out in the open court a little bit. Let's put it this way. If you just showed me our team line at the bottom, and it says one for 15, and we gave up 18 offensive rebounds, is that 18 or 16? 18 offensive rebounds. We, we overcame a lot in order to, I, there's no way I would have said we'd, we'd win by double digits. I hope we saved all our threes for tomorrow night, because either one of these teams we play, we're going to need them. Okay, uh, we've got a question here from uh, Dave Vilhauer. Uh, Parker, tell me about that big block with two minutes left um, that put you guys up 69-62 when you had four fouls and they were trying to score in transition. Yeah, um, I think that's just a testament to the way I play. Um, we, hadn't played, we hadn't played a game in two weeks, so I looked over at our bench. I'm like, I'm tired, man. I'm exhausted, but I knew that. Um, I had to get back on D, um, and I've seen him probably four or five steps ahead of me, and I know that I'm quick enough to get back there. So I just took off, and I got all ball, and it was a clean block. Um, so yeah, I saved that layup. But uh, I think it's just, I think it's just a deal where it's the way I play with uh, energy and emotion and passion, and um, I wouldn't change it for anything else. I, I taught him how to do that. <laughs> Um, this is from Eric Peterson for Coach. Um, hey, Eric. What, uh, what do you think got your offensive going after the Dragons got that five-point lead early in the second half, and then you guys responded with a 9-0 run? Well, the first four points of that were shots off the assist where we got layups, uh, where somebody got good penetration, and one was a transition where we kicked it ahead. But both guys that caught it had an advantage when they caught it because someone else had set them up. Uh, and then from there, we were able to get downhill pretty well. I mean, let's do the math here. Apologies to all my math professors and teachers. But 28 of, 28 of 41 from two tonight. That's a, you're getting good shots if that's the case. And I, our guards got downhill, and they better when you're one for the world from three. Um, this is from Zach Borg for both of you from Dakota News. Um, how, how much more of a challenge uh, was this than normal a normal Central Region game when you're playing a team for the fourth time in three weeks? Why don't you go ahead and start, Parker? Yeah, um, like Coach said, it's Marchy. It's March. Mm -hmm. um, anytime you play a basketball game in March, um, it's going to be it's going to be a competition. It's going to be it's just going to be an absolute grinded out fest, no matter who you're playing. Um, and especially the way that we beat them um, to win the, the conference tournament. Uh, we really put the hammer on them, and we beat them pretty good. So we knew they were going to come out here. Um, 
come out with some passion, come out with some heart. That's a really, it's a good ball club. It's a really good team. It's a really well coached team. Um, so we knew they're going to come out really hard. Um, so we were going to come out hard too. Uh, so we like the way that we responded. Um, some things didn't go our way necessarily the whole game, like coach says, shooting threes, um, some other things. But uh, we got faith in each other, uh, especially some of our upper upperclassmen guys that have been playing with each other for a while. Um, we got a lot of faith um, in each other, and we relied on that, and we got it done. Coach, do you have anything to add to that question? Well, you know, it, it, it was a little bit like an NBA series, playoff series. I, honestly, if you look at it, it I, I've never played a team four times in a year in my life. Uh, any place that I've, I've had uh, – you know, a situation the other team wasn't getting at large with the, with the bids I was lit, with the leagues I was in. Uh, Chad pointed out to me that uh, we got to play them four times and we didn't get to play them in Moorhead, and I like that a lot. Uh, I propose that should be standard, uh, but no, I mean it, it works out how it works out. And I had a feeling after the after the game in Sioux Falls that we might see him again. Uh, because they're good. They're just damn good. Uh, they've got good players, they're well coached, and they do things the right way. So, yeah, they were going to be around in March. Uh, they they put together a really good squad this year, and I'm glad I don't have to play them again this year, quite honestly. Um, Parker, this is from uh, Zach Borg. Um, your team hasn't trailed at halftime a lot this year. What was said and what adjustments were made going into the second half? Yeah, um, honestly, we came into the halftime. We're like not worried at all. Um, I don't. It's weird. I've never. I don't think at any point in my time at Northern have I gone into a halftime and been worried, regardless of what the score was. I think that's just a testament to um, the way we do things, the tradition that's been done here at Northern. Um, we expect greatness. We expect to win, um, and we can rely on each other to do so. Uh, we don't need anybody to take over a game. I don't need to take over a game. Mason doesn't need to take over a game. Andrew doesn't need to take over a game. We do it as a team. Um, and I think that's just, like I said, a testament to, to Northern State and Northern State basketball. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's, never, it's never great to go into a halftime down. Um, you always want to be winning a basketball game, obviously. Um, but I like the way we responded. We got back out there. And, yeah, we played, played a really good second half, even though we didn't shoot great from three. But things to work on, things to get better at, and get better at it um, by Tuesday. Um. Coach, uh, talk a little bit about. Uh, I know you know you play, you know who you bring to the party, and uh, you know your depth. You're dealing with some injuries, as are some other teams. But talk a little bit about your uh, depth uh, going forward. Well, <laughs> it's going to be a short conversation because we don't have a lot of it. But when I told these guys get ready to play closer to 40, they looked at me and said, "About time." So. Uh, I've got to manage some things. I've got, I've got to do some things from the bench and maybe ride out some foul trouble a little bit. Parker's always so patient with me when I ask him to take a seat for a second or two. Appreciate that, Parker. Uh, but, you know, it, it's March, and Gus came in, hit a three. Kobe came in down in Sioux Falls and, and made a positive impact. And one of these nights, one or both of them are going to have to play an extended stretch. Uh, but I know this, that the guys I have out on the court are certainly battle-tested. They are tough. And, heck, we get one full day rest between. This is easier than the Summit League, right? I mean, you get tomorrow just a life of luxury, lounging, maybe a little massage. Want to get a couple of massages? Yeah, that sounds nice. Okay, that it. It sounds good. <laughs> um, this is from uh, Zach um, for Coach. Um, you don't know yet uh, who you're getting uh, for Tuesday night, um, but how do you approach the regional championship game? You try to approach it like every other game. Now that's easier said than done. I mean, I, I like it. I like to ask guys before a game like this, "Are you nervous?" And then when they say, "Yeah," I say, "Uh, uh you're nervous. Come on now. You don't need to lie to me." There's going to be nerves. There's going to be adrenaline, but there's also a lot of excitement. And I always try to frame it like this: Listen, you're going to have memories about this game either way. You are. Let's just make them real positive. Let's make them real happy. We get, we get a chance to make plays. We get a chance to take our five and beat their five. And there's no more fun way for me to spend a day than to try to help these guys try to figure out how to beat that five. That is, that's, that's about as deep as I get philosophically. 
Uh, and it's a heck of a problem to solve either way. I mean, you've got you've got guys on one side that are well, you got guys on both sides that are literally as good as anybody in the nation at this level, and a heck of a lot better, a heck of a lot better than people at the next level. I've seen them up close. Uh, both teams are really good. You got a team that wins it every year, and you got a team that beat them twice this year. Bring it on. We're, we're, it's not supposed to be easy. It isn't. We don't want it to be easy. We, we've been hungry for a challenge all year long. Haven't we, Parker? Yes, sir. Okay. All right, I think that about wraps it up. Thanks, guys, and uh, good luck Tuesday night. Thank you. Go Wolves. Wolves.